another opportunity to learn. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel, Learning Daily with Ati Rosh. For today's video, we will be going to learn one of the literacies that is dear to my heart, ecological literacy. Make sure you take down important information and enjoy learning. The greatest challenge for us human beings, a steward of God's creation, is to sustain and preserve nature, where we live, make ways in life, build physical structures, and where we grow and foster as individuals. We are bound to take care of our surroundings, and this will be fulfilled if we know the fundamentals and principles of nature through the help of ecological literacy. Ecological literacy or eco-literacy is as much as important as other literacies as it opens our understanding about preserving our natural systems and maintaining a healthy function in sustaining biological life. An ecologically literate person knows how to apply sets of rules and actions in sustaining the function of nature and taking care of its resources. This literacy will be the fundamental guide of introducing educational practices of makakalikasan and imparting environmental values to everyone. This motivates individuals to compassionately volunteer and encourage other people in building clean and green communities. Basic step in conquering a healthy and clean environment includes habitual and conventional cleaning, proper waste segregation, and proper waste disposal. Here are some steps to get started. First, prepare your tools and materials. Second, know your garbage. Here are some common waste materials to segregate. Paper waste. Glass waste. Organic waste. Electrical waste or e-waste. Metal waste. And lastly, plastic waste. Did you know and notice that plastic bottles have numbers based on how it is used and recycled? Number 1. PET or PETE, polyethylene terephthalate. Number 2. HDPE or high density polyethylene. Number 3. PVC polyvinyl chloride. Number 4. LDPE or low density polyethylene. Number 5. PP or polypropylene. Number 6, PS or polystyrene. Number 7, or also called as others. Thus, be wise in using plastics and plastic containers because each plastic codes or numbers have different ways in disposing and recycling. For better understanding and to widen your vocabulary about plastics, you can visit this website. Third, ensure your safety. You can wear face masks, gloves, and closed-toed shoes for protection from hazards including dust and sharp objects. And lastly, know how to dispose your waste. Here are some common waste disposal that we can do. First is landfill. When waste can be reused or recycled, it will be spread out in a landfill. Second, incineration. Incineration is the process of controlled combustion of garbage to reduce it to incombustible matter. However, this is not quite an environmentally friendly way due to the emission of greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide. Choose what to burn. Don't include plastics. Lastly, composting. This type of waste disposal is appropriate for organic materials such as food scraps, yard waste, or any organic waste that we throw every day. The process of composting starts when these wastes are buried under layers of soil and left decay under the action of microorganisms such as bacteria and fungi. 
These materials decompose with time and the result in this formation is making nutrient-rich manure for agriculture or alternative to chemical fertilizers. Join me and let's apply these steps in a coastal cleanup! Fishing is the primary source of livelihood here in Malo. Thus, it is important to maintain cleanliness so that our waste and garbage will not cause water pollution and affect marine lives. I posted a community activity and encourage everyone in our barangay to participate. Thank you Makasilhig family, Bon family, and Jana family for your active participation and taking care of our barangay. That's it everyone, let's give ourselves claps and cheers for finishing this video and for learning something today. We must take care of our planet because it is not just a place, but our home. We must do our responsibilities now to have a better home in the future. Nature is not asking for our responsibilities for itself, but for our future generations. For more educational content, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the notification bell for updates. Again, this is Ati Roche. See you on my next vlog.